welcome to interview questions on statistics so today we are going to look at two different questions so the first one is describe manova and what distinguishes it from anova test so let's look at manova first so basically your manova is called as multivariate analysis of variance so that's the extension of your manova and what do we do in this manova basically so here we examine data sets with multiple dependent variables at a time so instead of doing it one dependent variable where in your anova test here we do it multiple dependent variables at a time so that's the difference and it basically allows us to perform hypothesis testing with using this multiple dependent variables so why do we need to do this manova because here we can use multiple dependent variables at a time to perform hypothesis testing so we find the effects of one or more independent variables on two or more dependent variables so when it comes to your anova your anova will only involve one dependent variable at a time but whereas when your manova it uses multiple dependent variables so but internally you could say manova still processes or it still performs the same way as anova does so it's basically anova but with more number of dependent variables and also when it comes to your different methods just like your anova even manova also has one way and two way methods so this is manova now let's look at your next question describe mancova and what distinguishes it from manova so basically we need to find we need to describe mano mancova and how is it different from your regular manova test so first of all your mancova is known as multivariate analysis of covariance so generally you could say you we generally compare it with your ancova so with your mancova is basically an extension of ancova so it still has all the properties i mean like all the procedures and all the steps and everything is similar to ano ancova but it's just an extension in what way let's see so here we actually perform analysis with an independent variable on multiple dependent variable so yes just like your manova multiple dependent variable but here we have a third control variable or a third special variable which is called as covariate so which is not there in your regular manova and this covariates are generally included in order to reduce the errors because basically these covariates are like factors which are influencing the dependent variables so when we have this kind of factors it helps us in performing the hypothesis test much better so that we can understand how these factors usually affect your dependent variables so they are also generally used to reduce errors as well as we can also reduce the influence of these covariates on the relation between the independent and dependent variable so we need to find the proper relationship between independent and dependent variable there might be some factors or some covariates which would be influencing this relation so by using this covariates we would actually negate the influence of this covariates on that relation so that's one of the advantages of using mancova and when you compare it with manova or how is it different from your regular manova test it's basically your manova test but with an addition of a control variable called covariate that's basically the only difference between manova and mancova and also uh, the different factors which are influencing the independent variable even though the number of independent variables dependent variables we use are similar when it comes to mancova and manova but the independent variables may differ in terms of certain factors when it comes to mancova that's the reason you could say your manova and your mancova the properties of independent variable may differ just because of that addition of one covariate variable so that's one of the differences of mancova and manova